we met these individuals on a St. Ben St. John, some of these individuals on a St. Ben St. John's trip that took place with the Benedictine Center for Lifelong Learning nearly three years ago. And Mr. Ted O'Connell, who you see here in the middle of the table, um, is a person who has a deep, lifelong love of Vietnam. And through Ted's friendship and interaction with Mr. Leung Trung, where are you? <laughs> They, they formed a bond, and Ted has subsequently gone back to Vietnam two or three times, uh, three, four times since our visit. And they began to talk about similarities and differences between higher education practices in our two countries. And so we invited them here to St. Ben's and St. John's so that they could learn more about U.S. higher education systems on, in a visit that was the next logical step to the friendship that we had formed. So we're eager, eager to welcome them, and the point of this is really a very informal one. They visited some classes today, they had lunch, they experienced the Gretzky Dining Center at St. Ben's, and uh, got to talk with our students and our faculty. And this will be a bit of a, a deeper, but also informal conversation for you to hear a bit about Vietnam today, and for you to share with them about higher education in the United States. And so I want to thank both uh, Ted O'Connell and Mr. Leung for this um, great partnership that they've formed. And I'd like to introduce Dr. Richard Bohr on the faculty here at St. Ben's and St. John's, director of our Asian Studies program. And he will introduce, he will introduce our moderator. Thank you. Thank you, President Benninger, and welcome to everybody. Uh, it's a real pleasure for me, for many reasons, to introduce to you Mr. Stephen Young, who is our moderator for tonight's panel. Uh, Steve is the Global Executive Director of the Co Round Table, an international network of experienced business leaders who advocate a principled approach to global capitalism. The Roundtable advocates implementation of its principles for business, government, and non-governmental organizations, through which sustainability and social responsibility can become the foundation of a fair, free, and transparent global society. Formerly, Steve served as the Assistant Dean of the Harvard Law School and he was the distinguished third dean of the Hamlin University School of Law. He is an authority on Asia. And both his very capable wife, Wa, who is sitting here in the audience, and he, for the last three decades, have served as a crucial bridge between Minnesota and the ever-evolving Asia. And I have been very privileged to work with Steve and Wa on a number of occasions in trying to build bridges of understanding and interaction between Minnesota and the American heartland and the new Asia. Steve has written extensively and most recently published the book Moral Capitalism, Reconciling Private Interest with the public good. This is a well-received book written as a guide to the Co Round Table's ethical and socially responsible principles for business. Steve was educated at Harvard University and Harvard Law School. Please join me in a warm welcome for Mr. Stephen Young. Thank you, uh, thank you Richard. Kính thưa bà viên trưởng, kính thưa giáo sư Richard Boy, kính thưa thầy Sai Minh Cương, kính thưa em, kính thưa quý vị, kính thưa bà con. Tôi rất hân hạnh được lựa chọn là moderator cho cuộc nói chuyện tối nay. Cái vai trò của tôi rất là dạng gì? Tôi chỉ sẽ giới thiệu mấy người bạn Việt Nam ở đây. Thì sau đó thì nhờ mấy người bạn có vài lời. Thì sau đó nữa thì xin mời quý vị đặt câu hỏi hay là cứ có ý kiến nào thì xin chia sẻ ý kiến đó. 
So thank you very much for listening to my Vietnamese. Um, I'm Steve Young. My pleasure tonight is to sort of moderate a, a conversation. And what I'd like to do is just introduce the, the, our friends who, who have come from Vietnam, all from one particular part of Vietnam, the, the area in central Vietnam, kind of midway between North Vietnam and South Vietnam in the, the two famous cities of Hue and Da Nang. And then uh, introduce uh, Mr. Liam, who sort of is a coordinator of this, for some comments from our guests, and then encourage um, our other friends here for questions or, or comments uh, about education in Vietnam, education here, uh, prospects for Vietnam. Um, I think anything, this is a, a wonderful opportunity which I think flows from the community here at St. Ben's and St. John's where there is a sense for people as people and an emphasis on, on communication, on discussion, on exchange. And my limited understanding of, of Catholic social teachings would say that this, I think, flows very much from, from a sense of, of, of human dignity, core human dignity, that, that we're in a position to, to recognize uh, the contributions and the aspirations of, of, of everybody and, and bring them together in efforts of, of mutuality. And so I think this is a wonderful event on this campus in particular. But before I introduce some members of the group, I'd just like to reflect for those of us who are American that if at any point in American history you would have predicted that there would be a trauma between the United States and a small country in Southeast Asia named Vietnam, people would have uh, laughed at you. It really wasn't until the early 1960s that Americans even were aware of a place called Vietnam. And those of us who are older can remember the last 40 odd years and, and all the emotions that surround the word Vietnam. And of course, there were many, many other related emotions uh, among the Vietnamese. So what we have is, is a very special occasion to reflect as Americans on something which somehow came out of nowhere, but has led to some two million Americans of Vietnamese ancestry uh, to the need for, for understanding and relationships. So I think, again, this is the second reason why this is a very important and special uh, evening. I'd like to very briefly, just starting on my right, actually introduce uh, Ms. Leslie Senden, because I think there's, there's a lesson here in history, and there's a lesson here almost in theology, uh, and how things happen by fate. And my understanding is she's responsible for everything this evening because she went to Vietnam as a tourist, and she had a tour guide, who was Mr. Lien and his wife, and, and she is in the business of tourism, so she began talking to them about doing more and better sort of tourism for Americans in the mid-90s. And, and you know, how many Americans, of what generation, with what emotional feelings, you know, want to go to Vietnam? And so she's developed a significant uh, a business around that bridging function. And then she introduced, she knew Ted O'Connell from somewhere, that I haven't learned. And so she introduced, she had Ted go to Vietnam as a tourist. He met Mr. Ling and his wife. Ted became fascinated and has, has met the other members of the group here. They're his friends now. Ted has connections with St. Ben's and St. John, so he has arranged for a group of people from, from Da Nang and Hue uh, to come and get a feel for what is American education in a place like St. 